Welcome back. It's time now for On the Radar, where we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with Gavin Graham, Chief Investment Officer of Smart B Investments, to talk about, Gavin, a stock that you're recommending in your Income Investor uh, newsletter, the most recent uh, edition of the newsletter. You said in our first conversation you continue to like the Canadian energy sector. Pado Exploration and Development is a stock that you like in particular. Yes, and you know it's a remarkably cheap stock. Uh, so fifth largest uh, Canadian natural gas producer, ninth largest processor, and it's all it owns ninety nine percent of its uh, of its production in Alberta. The big thing about Pato though is that it's the lowest cost producer. So it's something like one one dollar twenty five per million cubic feet. Uh, which is the equivalent of about seven dollars a barrel of oil. So, uh, apropos of our previous conversation, you know, if the oil price is going to be in the sixty, seventy dollars range, that's a pretty good profit margin. And in fact, it's literally, as I was remarking, gushing cash, making about six hundred million free cash flow, done some operation on about eight hundred. Um, 800 uh, million in revenue. So very, very uh, cash generative, very, very uh, profitable. Um, having come through a really difficult uh, period. So in 2020, uh, uh, the um, price of gas got down to about $2 uh, per million cubic feet. Um, and they managed to actually make a little bit of money. Um, the other thing about it is they're now returning it to shareholders. Uh, the dividends gone from sort of one cent a quarter uh, back in. Uh, 2021 to um, 60 cents, uh, five cents a month, uh, 60 cents a year this year, and then more than doubling it to 11 cents a month uh, starting in January. That gives it, would you believe, poor 9% yield? It's, and it is indeed, a, I'm looking at the dividend profile of the company here. It's, it is actually a, a monthly dividend, isn't it, Gavin? Not a quarterly it dividend is. that the company uh, pays out. Uh, and it is, uh, has moved up to 11 cents per share per month. Uh, that decision was made in early November. And according to Bloomberg, the Bloomberg forecast from analysts is that uh, the next time it pays a dividend uh, will also be 11 cents uh, per share per month. Do you expect uh, the dividend to inch uh, to move higher in 2023, Gavin? Well, you know, it has in the sense that the, they've gone from five cents a month to 11 cents a month. So more than doubled it. I suspect that's most of the good news in the price, although they're also taking the opportunity of repaying debt, uh, brought it down to under a billion dollars. Uh, but one of the big things about Pater, they point out, is that with Russian gas off the market for Europe, um, where are you getting your gas from? You're getting it uh, from the liquefied natural gas uh, plants in the Gulf uh, of Mexico. And you can ship uh, the gas down there. It, yes, obviously, there are difficulties with pipelines going into the US, but actually doing tanker trains is a possibility. And uh, Canada has about a 6 billion uh, cubic feet um, excess supply uh, between what we use here in Canada and what, what's being produced. So we are a natural exporter. And the difficulty has been trying to get it to places where you can ship it out and get a higher price. Uh, but as I said, things like tanker trains are helping to address the shortage of pipelines. Gavin Graham, he likes Pato Exploration. Gavin, before we let you go, uh, viewers uh, probably know that you are a big, big fan of soccer or football, as they call it, yep. in your part of the world. <laughs> what, what do you think of that match that we saw on Sunday, the World Cup final? Uh, unbelievable, if only because it suddenly transformed, uh, you know, with uh, Argentina cruising 2-0 uh, up. And then uh, Kylian Mbappe gets two, two goals in a minute. And suddenly you have this incredible backwards and forwards struggle. And you end up with goals in extra time. You end up with penalties. And the two, probably the two best players in the world going head to head. One has to feel that was probably the best World Cup final Um and uh, how very nice for Lionel Messi to actually finally win a World Cup. 